Uh, I'd also like to thank Ryerson Theatre School for hosting us. Earlier today, we did a special event uh, for Ryerson Theatre students. Uh, and then, as I said, you could stay in the evening if they would like uh, and be one of our backstage panel events. So that's just something for doing. Uh, I'd also like to thank Ruth Butts. Uh, this event made possible by some donations to the in honor of her predator. I'd like to thank you for making those donations. Uh, and then there's also a donation, oddly enough, from her Whitaker. Uh, it wasn't in his honor, but uh, he got this money in his will, uh, and so that makes uh, investment with that money. Dot dot dot. Uh, it's part of what makes uh, tonight possible as well. Uh, so I thank our donors to the Wires Computer School. The little tag over there says the Ontario Arts Council. Uh, it's a funder, and they are. Um, and we've also got the panel here. We've got four playwrights. Um, so I'd like to thank them for coming and spending the, uh, the evening with us. So you've got, I won't go into the bios because you've got those in your programs, but you might not know which one is which. Uh, so I'll let you think. I'm I'm Marjorie. Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marjorie. <Drew. laughs> <laughs> CBC show. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so we do have, we've got Brad and Andrew and Marjorie and Drew. Uh, and what we've done is uh, I've sent them five questions to think about or just so they know ahead of time. Uh, and then after that, we'll open it up to questions from the floor. So that's our uh, intent of the show. Our first question, uh, we'll probably start at this end and then work our way down. Sure. So if you could tell us about uh, how you sit down and write a play, and whether you've got a routine to do that. Uh, sure. Yeah, I write every day. Not always a play. Um, not always anything useful. Not always anything but Facebook. Often it just is. But I do try to sit down and, and write every day, and I sort of discovered that if I don't make myself sit down and write, I'm not going to write. But I also know that sometimes I get very, uh, I know it's not working. And when I hit those points, what I do is I go and do something else. Because what that tells me is that whatever I'm working on isn't quite developed enough in my head to start coming out on the page. So I don't think of writer's block so much as I think kind of writer's detour. Like, I'm, I'm just not quite there yet. It's going to take a little harder to get around it. And, and if I reach that point, then I go away and I draw, or I work out, or I phone people, or I watch TV, or I do any number of other things, because I, I realize that that feeds what I'm doing, and that my brain is still always working on the project, even if I'm not actually working on the project. But the quick answer is, yes, I do write pretty much every day. I wish I could write every day. But when you have children, it kills your creativity! Actually, um, uh, before I had kids, I would write, but like... I would go on Jags, so I would write, you know, I would just start writing at like whatever. Uh, I would wake up around like 10 in the morning, and I would like, you know, have some lunch by noon. I would, you know, roll up to the computer, check out whatever website I wanted to for a few minutes, and then I would write until like 2 or 3 in the morning, like nonstop. Like if I ate, it would be lucky. So I would, yeah, and I used to love doing that, because I used to love just sort of getting lost in, in writing, but... Uh, uh, it does like having kids does sort of change your schedule, and so you do have to sort of. Get it. Nowadays, I don't write every day, although I'd love to. But what I do is I just I tricked my brain into um, it's kind of like a computer, like dumping information up into it, taking ten minutes, and then offloading the information and moving up something else, and just try to manage picking those half hours to an hour. Every now and again, my wife, who's an angel, she just takes the kids for, you know, like a half a day or a day, and I just get a full day's writing done, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a challenge. It is. It's a challenge when you're, when you're sure. you have to balance um, family stuff. So. But it's great having children. <laughs> <laughs> really. Um, I do try to write something creative every day, and... Um, I'm not fussy about what that might be, and sometimes I don't even know um, what it might be when I start the day. If I get stuck on multiple things, I, as long as it's as long as I've touched something creative, I feel I feel like that's where I need to touch that muscle. When I'm working on a first draft, I I, I binge write it. That's a terrible word to use, but that's the only that's the only way that I'll I'll be able to get through kind of a first draft, and and then I'll just kind of plow through and. and and really not be able to, to shut down from that, if, you know, for anything else. Like not be able to take in any other, like, read or take in a TV show or a 
theater play, I'll just kind of shut it down and, and, and get that first draft out. So that's probably my best described my routine. Uh, <clears throat> I'm much the same way. When I have something to write, I write every day. So I try uh, as much as I can to get it done. If I'm working on a play, I'll try and block off eight to ten days to, to hammer out the first draft or a novel or whatever. But there's periods of time where I don't really have much to do in terms of creative writing. I have a column and a number of papers, so that sometimes takes up a couple of days in the middle. Other, um, otherwise, I just like work on correspondence and, and just keeping the business of Drew Hayden Taylor Inc. going. Mm -hmm. So when I have something to write, I write it uh, every day, but that's not every day. But I think a lot of us um, write other things other than plays. As Drew said, like I have a column, I, I'm working on TV or film. I always try to have something going because it takes like a year to get a project really to a point where, for me where I can start showing it to people and yes. get some interest in the things. So if I've only got one thing going on and it's going to take a year, there's going to be a lot of, maybe another year where nothing happens. So I try to have three or four different projects going at one time. And one of them usually has precedence. And also too, if you're self-producing, you're also not only writing creatively, but you're writing grants, which is non-creative work, which is mind-numbing and soul-destroying, but it helps to... And even worse when you don't get it. <laughs> I, I learned a long time ago it's easier for me to write a play than a grant application. Yeah, okay. No it's, yeah, it's by, by far less, uh, that's, uh, it's a lot easier uh, in some ways. But um, yeah, but you know, writing grant applications, uh, it's a different kind of, it's a different kind of creativity, but uh, it's something that um, it takes you away from the thing that you love writing. So I just look at it as, you know, Sunday school or oatmeal or Anything you just have to get down your pelvis. I'm not even going to touch that. I know. I don't know why I said Sunday school. It's like, and so when I was like, a kid, I was like, yeah. yeah. Like, Do I have to go, Mom? Oh, it's not even good for you.